Hi, my name is Casey. Welcome to a little segment I'd like to call Why Fall Gardening is a Good Idea. Come here, check this out. This here is a flat of tomatoes. We seeded these about two weeks ago, uh, mid-March. Now, they're going to have to be potted up, transplanted out into the field, watered, trellised, weeded, all this other stuff, and then maybe they're going to start producing food potentially like in late July, early August. We're going to get a frost mid-September, so if you don't can those, you've got at best two months of food out of a tomato. And yet, for some reason, everybody who wants to have a garden wants to have tomatoes, and it's all about tomatoes. I think we might want to rethink this. By contrast, if I decided that I wanted to instead plant this Waltham butternut squash here, I would have another two months before I would even need to stick this in the ground at all. Then I plant it in the ground in late May. I just water it and weed it. And then around September, I pull it out of the ground and suddenly I now have an entire winter's worth of squash. It just so happens that today is March 25th, which is the exact six month anniversary of when I harvested the butternut squash I grew last year. I guess you could say it's the squash anniversary. To celebrate, I've made myself a squash burrito. It's got black beans from M&M Heath Farm and my own butternut squash. Mm. Harvested six months ago, put in a cardboard box in the back room of my house and I've literally done nothing else with it. And I've had an entire winter's worth of squash with very minimal effort.